Good morning. Uh, yes, this is uh, Supervisor Onetto. Supervisor Plaz could not give the Board of Supervisors report, so I'm here to do it for him. And this report is for Tuesday, July 15th, 2014. Board of Supervisors met in closed session on a conference of labor negotiators. Direction was given. Conference of uh, property negotiators. Direction was given. Also, they had uh, they met on this is closed session on claims of uh, Elaine Duran, Steve Duran, and Linda Homan. Those claims were denied. Confidential minutes were approved. We had six employees retire or had resolutions at the meeting. They were Connie Murdoch. She worked at the library. Mike Boitano, he was uh, Department of Agriculture, Weights and Measures. John Vale, he was the Director of Animal Control Services. John Yorkey, uh, Department of Transportation and Public Works. He was like the main mechanic up there in uh, heavy equipment. Tony Maris, Environmental Health Department. And Stella Valdez, she worked for the District Attorney's Office. Um, they were a good bunch of employees. Uh, we will miss them. I do wish them the best in retirement. Also, the board met um, under, we received an estate from Alethea Rab Collins. It was uh, bequeathed to the county to uh, help with um, basically uh, with a museum. And direction was given to uh, sell those assets. And um, through uh, Miss Linda Hawthorne, she'll be going, going, going to public auction. And also, some of the assets were. Um, taken by the Amador County Historical Society to be placed in the Amador County Museum. And it was really a nice um, bequest from Ms. Collins, and we do appreciate that, and we use the money well. Also, um, the Board of Supervisors met on the general plan. What we have, we'll, the, the draft general plan and draft EIR will be coming out, coming out for public comment. Um, short, review and then public comment. What you'll have is, uh, we come out roughly, they're looking at roughly around August, and attending general plan schedule will be released to the public and agencies are 45 day public review and comment period. There will be a public meeting on the draft environmental impact re report. And this will be a joint panel meeting with the um, Amherst County Board of Supervisors and the Planning Commission, after which there will be a 45 day public comment period, which will, then you have the final preparation for the EIR to respond to comments received in the draft environment impact report. And then there's a release of the final EIR and revised draft general plan to the public and commenting agencies. And then you have the planning commission public hearing and board of supervisors public hearing. And that's the tentative general plan schedule. Also direction is given to staff as far as how to do outreach as far as um, the a general plan. Uh, what came out was there will be a uh, notification. Generally, this is how it's going to go. There will be like a, a quarter page ad in uh, newspapers. Um, no notification became the cities, agency, tribes, and interested party distribution list. The vote, uh, I also wanted to do a full countywide individual property owner mail out plus above notifications, and I lost a vote on that. So that is the draft general plan, what's, what's happening. Also, we addressed um, an issue with, uh, it was on Upton Road. And it was Ed and Cheryl Stevens had requested a payment plan for traffic mitigation fees owed the Public Works Department. And this amount was $6,380. And the board discussed this in length about whether they wanted to do um, this or not. And what came out was uh, the board decided to look into it, and they believed they would like to do this on a case-by-case -case basis, and they wanted to have some criteria as far as um, they'd do it on a financial hardship basis. They may do it, and they directed staff to come up with um, criteria, what would con constitute a hard financial hardship, and bring it back to us. Uh, I have requested that uh, we would waive the fees, not waive, excuse me, that we would set up a payment plan for um, Ed and Cheryl Stevens. Um, the, the board 
did not uh, um, approve my request. They said no, they want to come. They want to set up the criteria, have those people come back at a later date, and possibly possibly do it at that time. Um, they want to make have everybody go through the um, the same criteria. Anyway, uh, our what's our time there? Our next meeting is Tuesday, July 29th at 8:30 a.m. in the morning, and uh, that's when we start our closed session. Um, open session will be at 9 o'clock a.m. That's when the public and we have our public session. So I invite y'all to please come down for Board of Supervisors meetings, and we'd love to have your input. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSPN.